Hey, I'm Tyson Dodd, I'm 23 years old, I'm from Melbourne, Australia, and I make tattoos for a living. So pretty much the first tattoo machine I ever acquired, I was on grade six holidays, and I found this little book on how to build jail tattoo machines. So going through that whole process of finding out the dynamics of how to put one of those together, I went to Coles and stole a little electric toothbrush and ripped the motor out of that, and I got a big pen and made it so it was a nice right angle so you could get a cool cam leverage and make the needle go back and forth pretty much. It's pretty simple. It's, it's weird to think, like I tattooed in a lot of sheds and stuff, eh? Like I remember going around and having this little kit of like my tattoo machines and like random needles and stuff and I had no clue of what was going on so I'd rock up and everyone's like, oh, oh, so what can you do? I was like, oh, I put out this little flash sheet of just like stupid skulls I had drawn and little upside down like faces and just shit. Yeah, so it would go on and I didn't know how to use a stencil so I'd get a big pen out and draw a little big pen and then start tattooing it and I would just blow out and the whole shit was just disgusting, man. It was terrible. I wore gloves, but so that was cool. Is that where you grew up and stuff? Or in yeah. yeah. I always lived there. You just gotta have a little bit of love from where you come from, right? Eh? It's good, yeah. right? There's a lot of people around you trying to push you, but at the same time, if you're not pushing yourself, you're gonna be shit. And that was a massive thing. If I didn't have a lot of those skateboarding and BMX friends coming and always helping and going, no, do whatever you want and try it out, I wouldn't be where I am at all. And it's a massive thing, like if you were to start tattooing, you can't sort of just half ass into it like, oh, I'm gonna try this and then maybe a month later I'll try another tattoo. Like my first tattoo was on that day, second tattoo, third tattoo, day, 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 day for weeks and weeks and weeks on end and then after the four month period, I was like, fuck, okay, I kind of know how to do line work now. And oh, this is how you do shading. And it just develops from there. So that was a really special thing. Like as stressful and as terrible as it was for the first couple of months, like definitely, definitely paid off, which is good. Um, I suppose the, the favorite part of my job is probably just building a relationship with people. Hey, like that's a really cool personal thing to have someone come in and then you sort of change their life. As egotistical as that sounds, like it's a, it's a nice thing to have someone appreciate the effort you put into stuff.